A show that tackles the big issues affecting the BVI and the best of the Caribbean. Searches for answers to today's big questions and gives viewers a unique perspective on developing stories. Follow the big story with me, Kathy Richards, only on GTV. This show is brought to you by the National Bank of the Virgin Islands, Cyril B. Romney Tertola Pier Park, NV Salon Nail Spa and Barbershop, Tisley Cross Deliciously Smooth Cider, and Digicel Simply More Speed, Reliability and Entertainment. Tisley Cross Cider. Tisley Cross Cider. Deliciously smooth. This is the big story. I'm Kathy Ridges. Wanna thank you so much for joining us for this edition with me on set. No one that is stranger here. No one that is strange here, but a very familiar face. <laughs> From the BVI Chamber of Commerce and Hotel Association, Ms. Kiaya Jackson George. It's a pleasure as always to have you on set. Thank you so much, Kathy. And hello to all that are watching today, tomorrow, and into the future because we know that everyone stays on the big story. All right. <laughs> and we have not been here for a little while. Yes. So much. Well, if you, if you recall, we've, we've scheduled a few times, yeah. and then we would have these impromptu press conferences <laughs> that would just interrupt our scheduling, and then, you know, life must go on. Life must so go on. So, understanding that you are a very important person in our society, and you ask some very important questions, I'm always willing to take a nod and let you go do your job. <laughs> makes me blush. <laughs> Uh, but with what has been going on, I know the chamber plays uh, such a pivotal role, uh, in, especially in this time. Mm -hmm. I know since uh, Irma then move on to the COVID-19 pandemic era, mm -hmm. uh, you guys have been a cushion to quite a number of businesses in uh, this territory being that strong support that mm -hmm. they so needed, being their voices uh, for when they seem not able to speak for themselves, being a great representative and advocate uh, as you are uh, built to do. Yep, uh, and then the, the, the times keep changing, the events keep changing and, and the landscape is being affected. How has it been for, for the Chamber? Well, it has been busy. Um, 2020 was all about trying um, to give government assistance because I want you know everybody to remember that's part of our job to be the the go between the government and the business community here in the Virgin Islands and you know just trying to help them uh, maneuver through uh, all of the cloudiness that was happening in 2020 and yeah it was cloudy mm. um, it was not partly cloudy it was cloudy mm. um, and just maneuver through all of that um, in support of the business community. Unfortunately, they, I mean, our businesses took major hits um, for two years. And, uh, you know, when businesses take a hit, the chamber takes a massive hit as well. So what, what we've been focusing on um, last year and a lot this year are supporting the, the local businesses. Um, I've heard somebody call us a helping hand. Oh. Um, yes, that, that was my favorite one. <laughs> um, but we refer to ourselves as consultants. We refer to ourselves as your business support service. We refer to ourselves as a resource. And we've just been trying to fill that position because our businesses right now are kind of in the cloud, stuck in the clouds are kind of great for some of them. But Kathy, you know the part that has been such a breath of fresh air? I've been able to work with businesses that you and I have never heard of. Oh. That has been awesome. I mean, we know the bigger businesses, we know the businesses that are out there, but, and we know the businesses that traditionally are... Um, affiliated with... Well, not even affiliated, it's just when you think Chamber of Commerce, these are the businesses that you think of. And um, we've been able to reach some businesses that you wouldn't think of. And I would always say that, you know, really, we want to reach the businesses that you don't think of. And mm -hmm. I've, I'm happy to say that um, 
Shelly and I, um, you know, she's always my wonderful assistant. Uh, <laughs> we have been able to have conversations, to support, to guide, to lead, to all types of, of things to, to help businesses that sometimes I'd be like, who is that? You know, mm. um, sometimes I go out, I go look for them. And these are more biz small businesses. Small businesses. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes I go look for them because number one, I want to know who they are. Number two, I want to know where they are. Mm -hmm. I want to touch and feel what's going on with them so that I can speak about them. Um, it's, it's our job to promote our local businesses. We're not just there advocating. We're there to promote. We're there to be a resource. We're there to talk about local businesses. We're there to connect businesses to businesses. I don't know if you've, you've um, been aware, but Flow Business, Cable and Wireless Business has sponsored our Business After Hours series. Yes, yes. And we had a great time at Hendo's Hideout last year, last month where members and future members, because we have some future members that came with us as well, um, connected. They connected with awesome. each other. They connect. It turns out that the owner of Hendo, um, Hendo's was like, he needs this, he needs that. And I'm like, okay, there's that person, there's this person, there's that person. And the connection was made. Yes, connections wow. were made. And before the night was out, um, contacts were exchanged. Um, some of them afterwards was like, hey, can you give me the number to the guy at Hendo's? So, I'm just thankful for that because I know in times like this, if we can't support each other, the way things are looking um, out in international waters, mm -hmm. and I say that because you know the logistics are still um, rampant and, and broken. If we can't look to each other to support each other, some of us aren't going to make it. Yeah, definitely, and that's why uh, would would bring us to the main mm -hmm. topic of our discourse yes. today, the Business Expo that is uh, scheduled for this weekend. Yeah, so. The Business Expo has always been traditionally the Trade Expo, mm -hmm. but I was speaking to someone yesterday and I asked them, I said, who do you think did the Trade Expo? And they told me the Department of Trade. And I said, yes, I did too. <laughs> <laughs> Until 2020 when I came to the Chamber of Commerce, I did too. But um, as I began to plan for the, um, the Trade Expo in, in 2020, it, and I began to do research as it relates to Chamber of Commerce's expos. In the Chamber of Commerce world, that's typically called a business expo. So I rebranded it the, um, the business expo. Well, it was always known as the Buy BBI trade show. Yeah. So because people were not um, tying it to the Chamber Chambers. of Commerce and Hotel Association, it is the BBI, CCHA, Buy BBI. <laughs> business expo so yes it is a very long name but again we, we got to make the connection we can't have people thinking that something that um, it's it's our program our event belongs to other entities but I must say I'm, I'm thankful that um, for the for the relationship that um, the, the Chamber of Commerce and Trade has had over the years and I'm hoping that um, I think a letter just went to them yesterday um, for us to start doing some other things as it relates to working with small businesses, giving them certain information once they get their trade license. Because after you get your trade license, what's next? So yeah. I want to partner with trade on that. And trade is a huge, huge, huge partner to have with the Chamber of Commerce. I mean, it's just natural. It just makes sense. Yes. Makes <laughs> you issue, you issue business licenses, we support businesses. Match made in heaven. <laughs> so yes, the business, the Buy BBI Business Expo is this weekend. It starts on Friday. It starts at 2 p.m. I think our vendors are going to start setting up from 11. So they're going to set up from, it's either 11 or 10. I have to go back to the, um, the documentation that mm -hmm. we've sent them. But they're going to start setting up. And then um, from 2 o'clock, we have um, a bounce house. So this is at the Cyril B. Rep. Yes, the Pier this Park? is at the Pier Park. Okay. And I must say, the Pier Park, from, from jump, because the where they would normally have the expo, it's always booked in the summertime. Yes. It's been booked in the summertime. Yeah, got <laughs> some sport event taking place yes. and you can't have um, that arena. So I began to look in another place and the committee that um, that I formed, you know, began to give different suggestions. And then, you know, every time you choose a different place, you have to think about how you're gonna decorate it. So I remember thinking, what about the Pier Park? 
and they were like oh but this this and that and i was like but it's already pretty <laughs> <laughs> like let's get some tents up there get we, your tents we don't have to do much yes. it's, it's naturally it's decorate mm -hmm. decorated already and it is just a wonderful place to have an event i was at their bridal expo if i could just talk about that and it was beautiful and they only did a little bit more to make to enhance it but i kind of walked onto park lane and was like wow <laughs> Those so, yes. yeah, like, yeah. so it is already a naturally beautiful, beautiful place. Mm -hmm. um, it's already naturally decorated. And why not do a business expo where there are already businesses? Yes. So now it becomes a win-win to where not only are those who have the booths, are, are you know people are learning about their business but maybe there's a business there at the um pier park and pier park is a member of the tra uh, of the chamber of commerce so why wouldn't i support them and i must want i want to say thank you to zoe um zoe has been a wonderful um help for to us she has um been a, i mean she's just been awesome she's awesome. just been amazing all around <laughs> yes so um i do want to say thank you to zoe and i want to mention them as one of our sponsors and i i just want to go through the other sponsors so right Pier Park is sponsoring a major portion of the cost of using their facilities. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much, CBR, um, Tortola Pier Park. But our other sponsors are National Bank and Republic Bank. And I want to say publicly that those two banks always support us. And almost everything that we're doing, one or both of those banks are supporting the Chamber of Commerce, either for their staff or for us to do what it is that we're doing for the business community. So from the bottom of my heart, Thank you, thank you, thank you, National Bank of the Virgin Islands and Republic Bank. But we also have Martin Kinney and Co. That's the law firm. We have Caribbean Sellers, Kevin Foy, also known as Liquor Boss. Um, <laughs> he's also one of our directors, and he's been a great supporter of the Chamber of Commerce. Um, Joma, Quomar, My Island Hub. I bet you don't know what that is, but we could talk about that offline. My Island Hub. My Island Hub. Okay. We'll talk offline. <laughs> <laughs> to wait for bullies um, and harneys. Now these last four, Quomar, My Island Hub, to wait for bullies and harneys have also sponsored the registration of the booths. Okay. So uh, just just to put it out there, what we did this year was a little different. Last year when I was planning, I don't know if you remember, I planned it three times. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and the protocols changed three times. One of them, the week that it was supposed to happen, the protocols was like, nah, this ain't happening. Um, so they, um, last year it was supposed to be the Young Entrepreneur Business Expo, the Young Entrepreneur Business Expo, and it's like, I can't, I can't postpone that again. Let's combine them. Then it was going to be the Young Entrepreneur Business Expo and the, and the business, business, business okay. Expo. So there's still this Young Entrepreneur, um, component that I wanted to add to it this year. So some of our sponsors like Harney's has basically, um, said, well, not basically, they have said, we only want to sponsor young entrepreneurs. Awesome. So last year we were going to try to do a package deal and we'll get your tent and your table and all this stuff. It was quite difficult because, you know, you don't know how much you need until about now. So this year, you know, I just decided, well, we'll just do registration and whatever people want, because some people want the tent and the table, but they don't want the chairs. They want the chairs. They don't want the, just all kind of uh, mm -hmm. um, ways that it was set up. So but you just make one, one registration, but they can go and purchase whatever it is that they need. And um, I've just been recommending to them. They can go and purchase it from Bella Blooms at 495-3100. That's where they can get their um, event rental equipment from. Um, but no, the registration would go to pay for the event. Okay. Um, our cost um, at the event, you know, we still have some cost. So um, that's what the registration is going towards. And then those who are participating can then go and pick and choose what they want. Like yesterday, a lady was telling us she has a table, but she doesn't have chairs and a tent. So, you know, it becomes um, kind of difficult to, to facilitate for everyone and you're trying to get a bulk deal on all of this and you don't really know how many you need mm -hmm. until later on and then, you know, maybe they don't have any available. Well, yeah, then somebody you find is taking them up and all of that. And if you find another one, it may cost more and now you're, you're, you're running this at a loss. So it's like, you know, we'll let y'all do it. But um, I was going to say that Quomar, My Island Hub, and 284 Bullies and Harneys are sponsoring the registration. Awesome. Um, Harney said, you know, they called us yesterday, we specifically want to do it for 30 and under. So if you're 30 and under, we have some spots for so you. So you were saying that the registration <laughs> is still 
open as of now well because we got this late yeah uh -huh. if mm. if we will accept the registration for these sponsors yes mm. because they have do we have a do we have a deadline for registration for these sponsors we've already planned out the layout mm. and we still have um some additional space because um pure park and their wonderfulness has also given us lot five which is where the, the open lot um down from um coconut lounge yes the, the open okay. area yeah on the side and uh, we we can put them there Okay. So I'm 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 accepting additional registrations for these free ones, um, sponsored ones I should say. <laughs> um, just give us a call three four five three five one three. Take it first come first serve. Um, some of them are for thirty and under. The rest of them are open to um, other entrepreneurs. Some of them have specified a startup or someone in business for a short period of time. Um, it just depends on what the sponsor was willing um, or what they desired. To, to support so yeah for okay. these ones yes you okay. up until I don't know up until Saturday morning <laughs> wow that, that, that's pushing it really <laughs> close uh, but uh, to give us an idea uh, as we, we wind down on the clock mm -hmm. here on this uh, what are the range of businesses we look we know you talk about the young entrepreneur mm -hmm. and the regular business but they are we are, we are accustomed to seeing a wide range mm -hmm. you can go get terp uh, therapy and mm -hmm. all of that when you were at the the other location mm -hmm. but now that you're out there are, are these the same things that we will be exposed um, to there are a lot of new ones for instance okay. super value and caribbean sellers are getting um larger areas they actually each got two spots each wow. and they're going to do pairing oh. so caribbean sellers is going to have food and sorry super value is going to have food and caribbean seller is going to have wine so it's like a market day you um, consider not, it a market not day? necessarily because then we have a concierge service and mm -hmm. they're going to talk about the services that they have we have someone that does aerials we're trying to figure out how to fit them in mm -hmm. um, because they actually want to do some aerials while they're there we have just um, beauty um, type businesses who again want to discuss what it is that they're doing what they have so I must say um, the typical businesses these these some of these are new businesses all right we we, we, we have we, some young people mm -hmm. <laughs> we're eager to see and, and to learn of them because you know you know uh, yeah it, it it needs to because if you continue to see one thing over and over again mm -hmm. it becomes monotonous and it will pull your interest away and remember i told you that we've been we've been reaching some businesses that i think yeah. that have made i don't use the word forgotten but that have been perhaps on um, a low key yeah yeah okay so uh if we're talking about well, this is happening this weekend this at the Cyril B. Romney Tertola Pier Park. It's the Business Expo yes. uh, being managed by the BVI Chamber of Commerce and Hotel Association. Uh, registration is still open and you have the last plug. Okay, so I just want to... I just want to say everyone come out support these businesses some of them you've heard of them some of them you have not we have live performances by adagio dance team we have dj mcmilly thank you so much dj mcmilly um out dj on both days um the friday and the saturday the saturday starts from 9 a.m and we are going to end a little bit early on saturday at 6 p.m um, we're going to have a scavenger hunt, we're going to have prizes, and we're going to have raffles. So come on out um, this Friday from 2 p.m. Come patronize, patronize our vendors, patronize those at the Pier Park. Let's support our local businesses, let's love on our local businesses. It's been tough for us. So I hope to see you on Friday and on Saturday this weekend. At the Cyril B. Romney Tertolo Peer Park. And as always, Kia, it's been a pleasure uh, having this discourse with you. And I want to thank you for joining us for this edition of The Big Story. I'm Kathy Richards.